city of Hikari in Yamaguchi Prefecture is rich in nature and overlooks the Sido Inland Sea. The city, which usually has an idyllic atmosphere, is currently in a state of excitement due to the news that the wife of a world-famous superstar was born in the city of Araga. Once it was learned that Yuzuru Hanyu's 28-year-old wife was Mayuko Swinobu, 36, a former violinist from the same city, residents unanimously congratulated her, saying, Mayu-chan is amazing, and she's happy. Amazing words. This photo shows Hanyu's wife, Mayuko Swinobu, Tsukima big sister coordination. Also, Hanyu heads to practice late at night and gets into a car driven by his mother in Canada. Swinobu, whom Hanyu chose as his life partner, has previously acted with skaters such as Rika Kahira, 21, Annalena Zajitova, 21, and is also related to figure skating. She collaborated with Hanyu on Fantasy on Ice in 2019. They performed a spectacular ice dance to the tune of Origin performed by Ms. Winobu. They apparently started dating around the same time and seemed to have achieved their goal after a secret relationship that lasted about four years, figure skating official says. With her long hair, clear features and 165 centimeters height, Swinobu stood out on stage. She loves to talk, has a wide circle of friends, and is an absolutely charming person. At times she dresses like a girl, with heavy makeup and super miniskirts, but when it's time to play, she plays the violin with a fierce expression. She plays music. She pays great attention to beauty, including costumes, and is the type of person who can clearly express her opinions, so I heard that she was constantly approached by people of the opposite sex, narrated by a person associated with music. However, Ms. Winobu has last refrained from appearing on a public stage since around last fall, and has also deleted her social media accounts. Now that I think about it, I think that around that time they began to actively prepare for marriage. She was about 30 years old, so I think she may have been aware of the timing of getting married and having children. People associated with music say. However, since the announcement of the wedding, Swinobu has not been seen either in his hometown of Yamaguchi or in the city of Sendai in Miyagi Prefecture, where Hanyu lives. Last spring, Hanyu purchased two rooms on the top floor of a luxury condominium in Sendai. His parents and sister live in one of the rooms, and his family always accompanies him when he goes to the skating rink late at night. Mr. Hanyu and his family have strong ties. His mother in particular is similar to his manager. In the past, he even put an end to his love life because she thought it would stop him from skating. No matter who she is, things won't go smoothly. They say that at first his mother did not want her son to marry her. A sports writer familiar with the Hanyu family. Getting the family's approval must have been a big hurdle when getting married. Lady Swinobu was able to successfully achieve this goal and become a protected member of the Hanyu family. Lady Swinobu appears to be currently residing in a place other than Sendai, and although they recently got married, it appears they are living separately. Since Mr. Hanyu is active all over the world, they are not particularly interested in life to live together. They seem to have chosen a thin relationship that allows them to be free. However, since they have received the approval of their families, I think they will be able to make themselves known publicly. And the appearance of a couple in the not-too-distant future. Sports writer speaking. I'm sure Hanyu will be able to perform even more gracefully with his partner's performance. What Yuzuru talked about in the second video released by ERA magazine in support of the release of the upcoming photo book Hanyu Yuzuru, The Driving Force of Independence. Yuzuru. About six months ago, although it was not a program, I felt the atmosphere of the studio, like music, and moved according to it. I moved according to my own will. Now I'm thinking about how I want my clothes to look. What would the composition of the photograph be like, what would it look like if the clothes merged with the very essence of Yuzuru Hanyu, and did not just sit on him as if he were the subject of a photograph. 
Ninagawa Sen has particularly exquisite decorations, and I think about what feelings I should work with in these decorations, what meaning should I put into being here. I had a chance to think about what freedom is. You feel freedom when you get rid of some rules. Therefore, when I decided to turn professional, I felt very free. But now, precisely because of the lack of rules, this feeling of freedom has disappeared. I don't feel free, but my areas of activity have expanded greatly, the image of the athlete and artist that I strive to be has strengthened, and I think I have become stronger than before. In one week, NHK will air the first part of Switch interview with Yuzuru Hanyu as a guest. Some new footage is now available from filming that took place in Sendai earlier this summer. The program is a conversation between two people from different fields. In addition to the interview, viewers can expect Yuzuru to comment on his 2015 performance with the same A program. The half-hour parts of Switch interview are scheduled to be released on Fridays, October 6, 13 and 20. Director and choreographer Makiko, who created the one of a kind solo ice shows prologue and gift, attended the NHK Academy program. The questions asked also related to working with Hanyu. After Yuzuru Hanyu's performance, Mikiko realized that for the first time she saw a person who was able, without using any stage effects, to touch the audience in such a huge space as the Tokyo Dome Stadium. She was extremely impressed and surprised. Mikiko called the meeting with Yuzuru Hanyu very valuable, and believes that together with him she can create a new form of entertainment and spectacle. The program included video clips from the gift show. Ms. Mikiko is a well-known choreographer known for staging choreographies for many artists. She recalled Yuzuru Hanyu's February solo performance at the Tokyo Dome with the song Gift, a show by the legendary skater who turned professional last summer. There was a nice show in the Tokyo Dome that was created by just one person. As he began to speak, the screen shown Mr. Hanyu dancing in the Tokyo Dome, accompanied by exciting music and images. Of course, it was the hardest thing I've ever done, she said, agonizing over directing, but adding. Directing was like trying to figure out how to act with one person standing under a dome. She also said that she was pleased with the result. Regarding her impressions of Han Yu, she honestly said, when I saw his performance, the biggest surprise was that it was the first time I saw someone who could move people in the Tokyo Dome space without any staging, and someone who could have done this. Admit it. Also, I had a great feeling that I could create entertainment with Mr. Han Yu that I had never seen before, she said of her future prospects. The collaboration between Mr. Hanyu and Ms. Mikiko is called Yuzuru Hanyu I Story Second Repray Tour and is scheduled to begin with a performance in Satama this November, followed by a saga performance in January 2024 and a performance in Yokohama. In February of that year, hopes were high for Mr. Hanyu's Silver Tour, which turned the world upside down.